Or do you do a lot of skiving in your leather workshop? And by that I mean of course leather skiving using a skiving knife. If you find you do quite a lot it's worth considering a bell knife skiving machine. And in this film I'm going to show you my bell knife skiving machine, tell you a bit about why I find it's useful and show its basic operation. I'll pop up another couple of films um, specifically because I get a lot of people asking me how do you sharpen the, the cutting knife, the bell knife on a bell knife skiver. And also because the machine has lots of knobs and controls and it all gets a bit confusing I'll pop a third film up showing you how to actually adjust the machine. So let's get on. Um, first of all the, the bell knife skiver. Well this is my bell knife skiving machine. The servo motor for it is underneath. So this is the control unit here and under all my firewood etc that's the servo motor and the control box and then there's a foot pedal for operating it. Well, I find a bell knife skiver really helpful where you want to thin down a seam and it's like any leather skiving operation it just makes the seam less bulky makes it neater and makes it look more professional. So with all my bags I tend to skive down the seams using my bell knife skiver. It's also fantastically useful with wallets because you can again thin the seams and it stops the wallet being bulky. So very useful tool to have, it just speeds up the process but actually as importantly it makes it far more accurate. And you imagine it's quite difficult if you're manually skiving a fairly soft bit of leather trying to get a nice accurate skive that takes the thickness of your leather down. With a machine you can do it perfectly accurately. The main cutting head is a bell knife so it's a knife that is shaped a bit like a cup on its end or a church bell. If I take the safety guard off there it is. So that shiny outer edge is the cutting edge and the idea is the leather is fed in comes underneath this foot and then gets skived by the cutter. I'll show you what I mean. I'll leave the safety guard off because you'll be able to see far more clearly what I'm doing. You should have the safety guard on when you use it. I know some people don't use the safety guards but you can get in lower and flatter. Obviously um, the safety guard is there to protect you and so it should be fitted. So I'll show you how I would skive the edge of a piece of leather. I'll do a distant shot and then a closer in shot and you'll see it's all both ways. There's actually a depth stop here. I'll put up a separate film where I run through all the controls. Essentially you put your foot down, that's the cutting edge, and you feed your lever in across like that. So if I turn it on, I then line my lever up with a depth stop, pass it under, and then it gets taken through the machine. There's a little like drive stone underneath here and you can probably see there it's thinned off the whole section. I'll cut that off and then I'll show you close in. So here's a closer in view. I've got a depth stop here. That's my cutting foot. Comes up and down. That's the stone drive wheel. That's the bell knife. So what I do is feed it through under the foot and it starts to get cut. I can then just pull the lever through. It gets pushed through by the stone. And again you end up with this skive. If I take the other skive I did and add those two together you can then perhaps begin to imagine that is a lot thinner so it's like half the thickness compared to if I take the lever at the side where it's not been skived where it's quite thick and chunky and if you can imagine that as a bag seam that's quite thick and chunky take your two skived sections and you can obviously get them nicely thinned down for sewing now let's zoom this out again there are a huge number of adjustments that you can make. So you can vary the angle of your skive by adjusting the angle of your foot here. 
you can do things like vary the depth of the sky whether you want a half inch or an inch or whatever by adjusting a little depth stop that's on the side here and you can adjust the speed of the cutter and the speed of the stone drive wheel as well so it goes through slower or more quickly depending on what you're trying to do and there are various other adjustments which I'll cover in another film but essentially what you're doing with the skiving machine at any point in time is you're thinning an edge you can thin it to a nice like down gradient so it goes from say two millimeters down to one millimeter on its far edge and you could do that over say a, a 10 millimeter half inch or whatever distance so you get a nice seam some people skive to turn seams over and to finish them off and to make them look nice and neat but there are lots of uses you can do for it and also lots of different feet so just to give you a rough idea I have a range of feet that I put on this machine depending on what sorts of seams I'm trying to skive and they just go on and bolt on here in a nutshell with the feet I have roller feet for using like belt leather veg tan leather and I have these flat bottomed feet for when I'm skiving off a thin bit of like um, bag leather so they're quite polished underneath get different sizes depending on what you're trying to do but they're all the same sort of universal fitting I find that for the the likes of belt leather where you've got a thick bit of fresh tan shoulder or bridle back if you use one of these roller feet and manage the pressure but you can adjust the pressure of the feet as well you can get away of not marking the leather much at all on its upper surface so that's another little thing you can do but that's the feet that can fit the machine this is one of the machine feet in position and if I remove the depth stop you can see it's quite a long foot this one and that's the adjusting screw that changes the angle of the foot you can rise and tilt it depending whether you want a fairly flat skive or whether you want more of an angle on your skive and depending on the thickness of the leather you can change this adjusting nut so that the hold of the foot goes up or goes down that's the drive stone that sort of looks like a carborandum type stone that grips the underside of the leather and pushes it towards the blade so the, the leather is traveling underneath this foot and being pulled through in effect into the cutting edge as it comes through so that's where the feet go and you have on one of these machines got various pulleys under here so you can adjust its speed I take this cover off yeah you've got different pulley systems there for getting it to run at different speeds I keep mine running fairly low well I hope you found that helpful a uh, little introduction there to the bell knife skiving machine and why I like using one I'll pop another film up on as I say sharpening the blade and then one more on all the different control knobs trying to explain what they're all about anyway thanks very much for watching and see you in the next film bye bye then